In our group, we're interested in understanding preterm birth and its causes. Preterm birth is when a baby is born before 37 weeks of gestation. We're focused on trying to see if we can come up with ways of predicting women at risk of preterm birth and also understanding what are the causes of preterm birth. Doctors often put a stitch into the cervix uh, to prevent preterm birth in women where we think that weakness of the cervix may be a cause. But actually it's quite difficult to determine who might benefit from a stitch and so it's very important that we don't do any harm. 80% of doctors currently perform this operation using a braided tape type stitch and 20% use a simpler nylon monofilament stitch. We noticed from our practice that people that had the nylon stitch seemed to have better outcomes than people in whom we'd use the tape. Women that were considered at risk of preterm birth were seen in our prematurity clinics across two hospitals. We collected samples from the vagina of these women and they then went on to have cervical cerclages or a stitch in the vagina. And this is when the cervix is actually sutured or stitched closed. We studied uh, two different materials that are used for performing this procedure. One of them is called a multifilament suture and this looks something like a shoelace. Uh, we also looked at what the impact on pregnancy outcomes was in women who received a nylon suture and this is something more akin to some fishing line. What we found was that women receiving the multifilament suture had almost three times more likely risk of losing their baby during their pregnancy as well they had almost double the risk of preterm birth when receiving this. So we did a national study to look back at the outcomes in these two groups of people and that confirmed what we had found. We showed that women who received this multifilament suture or stitch actually had increased likelihood of developing an infection in their pregnancy which could lead to inflammation in and around their uterus and lead on to having a poor pregnancy outcome. We then did some studies in the laboratory which showed that the braided tape stitch encourages the growth of potentially harmful bacteria. It causes inflammation in the cervix and it causes detrimental changes to the cervix itself. What we found was that there was high bacterial loads and many diverse bacteria in the one type of suture material compared to the other. Before we recommend changes to practice internationally, we'd like to get the results of a prospective study in which the only difference between the two groups is the type of suture material that's being used. But in the meantime, for women who are not in that study, we would recommend that the suture material of choice should be nylon.